Hopkins and Hillers girls tennis finished the regular season with a record of 12 and 5 and started their playoff run on the road versus 14 seeded Ludlow on Tuesday, May 30th. The Hillers would take the match 3 to 2 and advance on to the round of 16 versus third seeded Westboro on Monday, June 5th. The Hiller girls competed hard, but would end up falling to Westboro to end their season. The Hiller girls finish with a record of 13 wins and six losses overall. Congratulations to the coaching staff and the team on a tremendous season. The Hiller boys tennis team finished the regular season with a record of 17 and one and earned the fifth seed in the Division II MIAA State Playoff Bracket. The boys started their playoff run versus 28th seeded Longmeadow. The game took place on Saturday, June 3rd, and the Hiller playoff run got off to a wet start and featured a rain delay. So a bit of a rain delay here. Uh, what can you talk about how the match is going so far and uh, how much match do we have left? We have a lot of match left. Um, I think there's only one set that's been completed so far. Um, you know, this team is it's a good team. Uh, I know that they've, um, they've come in with a ranking, a power ranking, it seems like above 20. Um, but from what we've heard of them and what they're displaying from the Longmeadow perspective is they're a really good team. Um, so we're doing well in most of them. Uh, I think some of our guys just got off to a little bit of a slower start. I believe that we're up at, uh, right now in the rain delay on, on four out of five of them. So we're certainly hoping that we're going to continue moving those forward. And uh, what's it been like coaching this group all season? Awesome. Um, a lot of seniors this year. So they've been in our program for, well, three years at this point um, due, due to that COVID year. But they're just an awesome group. Um, they're a group that's self-motivated. They make it fun to come to practice every day. Um, sometimes you feel like 
you, you kind of want to give them more to work on and more to work on, but the reality is they just come out and push themselves in, you know, day in and day out. And they're such a hard working group that some of our best matches that we have and what makes us that much better as a team is the, the talent level that we have. They push each other day in and day out to get each other better. And it's, it, it's a great, great spot to be in for sure. Can you talk about your captains this year? Yeah, captains uh, Lex K and Adam Glaze have been awesome. Um, they're not the loudest guys in the group, but they are the ones that lead by example. And I think when you have those guys step up to the plate when they need to, um, you know, talk to the team when they need to, they do a great job of bringing everybody together, making everybody feel valued, call it from our number one player to our number 16th ranked player. Everybody feels like they have a role in this team, and it is a valuable role that everybody plays. And I think once you get the kids to understand that, then it just brings the kids together. Uh, that team chemistry is so good, they push each other. And, and that, that's in big part to them. Um, you know, their team chose them as captains. Um, not only are they A1 and A2 on the court, but they're A1 and A2 off the court as well. Yeah, uh, so how, how does it feel to uh, win another TBL uh, championship? Feels great. Um, you know, you certainly don't want to be on the other side of that. We, we don't really talk about, at the beginning of the year, um, you know, specific goals that we have of winning TVLs or getting to the Sweet 16, the Elite Eight, the Final Four. I think one of the things that we continue to press upon the kids is if you put in the work, right, then that output comes. So input equals output. And we, we had this talk the other day with the kids, and some of them have been playing since the time that they've been five years old. So, um, you know, the work that they put in, you know, from the time that they've been young all the way through, it's just, it's amazing to see the work that they've put in, and it's great to see that they're, they're being rewarded for the time that they've put in and the effort. And now I saw you go out there and ask a couple of players if they wanted to continue. Uh, so is that a situation, uh, when it's training, that's up to the players to continue, or? Uh, it depends. For the most part, our kids do a great job, and again, you know, talking about that, that leadership, they know what's safe and what isn't safe. Um, sure, we, we certainly make the final call on that, but you know, typically we say when the dots start to connect out there with, with the raindrops and they start to connect there on the court, it's probably time to stop. Um, you, you don't want to see kids starting to slide around on there, regardless of what the score is. Safety is obviously paramount, but the kids do a good job of being able to judge that. Hopkinton and Longmeadow ended up having to finish the match at an indoor facility in Marlboro. Hopkinton would end up taking the victory by a final of 4-1 to one to move on to the Sweet 16, where they will take on Neshoba on Tuesday, June 6th. The Hopkinton Hillers girls lacrosse team finished the regular season with a record of 6-12 and 12 and entered the Division I state playoffs with the 32nd seed. The Hillers started off their playoff run with a preliminary round matchup where they hosted 33rd seeded Quincy. On Thursday, June 1st, the Hillers got things going early and often. And this uh, Hiller girls across team came up with a Bunch of wins down the stretch to get here, and they're going to start off with a nice score to make it one to nothing. On the goal for the Hillers, that was Emily Hayward striking Sweet 16. So a great start for Hiller teams in the playoffs as Arena with it takes the shot, puts it in. Scanovan gets it over, trying to take it in as Hayward. A number of defenders trying to chase her down and knock it out of her possession. Arena with the shot, and that is in. Another Jamie Arena score makes it three to two. Fortunately for the Hillers, they maintain possession. Looking to close in. With it as Scanavan gets it over, Bouvier puts it in. A great score there for Rachel Bouvier, the freshman in the last few years. They're hoping to move on to the round of 32 here, and they get another score. 
Great feed over to Emma Dacey who puts it in. Apologies, folks. I mistakenly said uh, this is a Division II matchup. It's a Division I matchup. Miller has moved up to Division I this year as Michaela Scanavan pops it in. Great feed to Scanavan. Hillers led 7-5 at the halftime break and never looked back. They would take the game by a final score of 13-8. In the victory, Jamie Arena and Emma Dacey netted four goals each for the Hillers. The Hillers moved on to the round of 32 with the win. On Saturday, June 3rd, the Hiller girls battled first-seeded Lincoln Sudbury. They would fall in that game by a final of 19 to four. The Hiller girls across team finishes the 2022-2023 season with a record of seven wins and 13 losses. Congratulations on a tremendous season to coaches Valine Hickey and Caitlin Wedemeyer and a big congratulations to the Hiller team. Hillers baseball finished the regular season 14 and six and earned the fourth seed in the division two bracket. In the first round, the Hillers hosted Marblehead on Monday, June 5th. It was a one nothing Marblehead lead heading to the top of the second. Wind up in the pitch. And this is hit up the left side, takes a couple awkward hops. That's gonna get through for a base hit and another Marblehead run. An RBI single for Brooks Keith. Line up and the pitch, and this is up the right side, and I think that went off the first base bag. That's gonna get through for a hit. Here comes another run. It's three nothing Marblehead. An RBI single for Whitman. And this is going to be hit up the left side, picked up by Ruff, and he won't have a play and a run scores. Was a little indecisive where to go. Going into the bottom of the fourth inning, the Hillers were trailing five to one. Inside, walk is drawn, here comes a Hiller run. Charlie, Jack and Tarante around to score. Connor Hellenbeck up to third. Scardino to second. Morgan to first. Nick Pajoli to the plate. Wind up and the pitch. Gets a good piece of this one, but it is a high fly ball over to right field and caught. For the third out, the Hillers load them up. They get a run. It's five to two as we head to the top of the fifth on H camp. Unfortunately, the Hillers could not get the bats going and would fall to Marblehead. By a final of eight to four, Hopkinton finishes a very fun 2022-2023 season with a record of 14 and seven. Congratulations to first year head coach, Matt Anderson and the Hiller team on a tremendous season filled with lots of fun memories.